Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today I want to talk about relocating the radiator on my Razor 900S. Uh, we've been, with, when we go riding, we hit a lot of mud. We love mudding, but we were overheating a lot. We was getting a lot of uh, mud packed in the fins. The back of the radiator, after I gave it a thorough cleaning, it was still pretty packed. And it's something I, want, I don't want to deal with anymore. So what I did was relocated it just up under where the hood goes. So what you have is it normally went right here up and down. Oops. It normally went right there straight up and down in the front. What I did was I made brackets. It was a bracket here that mounts to there. Then it mounts to where the fan mounts to the back of the radiator there. Same on that side. Then I put a couple brackets on the bottom. One there and one there. The other things that I had to do to make this work, uh, one was the radiator hose. It was too short, so I went and got some heater core hose of the same size, and I just cut it to size and ran that up. But the big thing you have to do is trim out on the front of your cow. So you can see how I cut this out here, <clears throat> that side and this side. This did run from this corner right down to here. So you have to trim all this out for your radiator cap and the same on this side to fit in the so the radiator don't rub up against the the hood and with the hood what I had to do as you'll normally has a regular hood on it I bought an aftermarket uh turbo hood so one it gives me an airflow through here that'll help keep the radiator cool and two the stock uh hold on a second this is the stock hood. You can see how kind of flat, compare these two, you can see how kind of flat it is. The turbo one sticks up and gives the corners of that radiator spot to come up into. And the only other thing I had to do to the hood is normally they have these um, little latching knobs. You gotta cut those off. So I trim those off of this hood. Without cutting those off, when you put your hood on, you can see this kind of spot right here. Those things hit that and it won't let it even come close to closing down like it should. So you cut those off. And once I get this, I, I had it all back together, test fitted it before I actually mounted anything. Once you do that, it's it fits on there perfectly. So I'm hoping this will resolve our um, our overheating issues. I'm going to run some... Uh, get it all together, get some radiator fluid back in it. Then I'm going to take it out, uh, run it around a little bit, and check for cooling. Make sure that I get up to, you know, that 190 to 205 range, and I hold it there. I'll run it pretty hard, and then if it starts to overheat, then I'll have to look at other modifications I can do to get the airflow to it. But it, in reality, it should work because you'll still get a little bit of airflow through the front of the grill, and you'll get it through that hood. So that's all I had for today. I hope this helps somebody out. If you liked the video, hit that like, subscribe, subscribe, share button. See you next time.